All right guys, so I am starting a new series here on my channel called Friday Thrift Finds, where every Friday I am going to share a thrift haul with you. So let's hop into that intro so we can get started with the first one. Hey guys, I'm Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller mostly on eBay and Poshmark. And like I said in the intro, this is going to be a thrift haul. Um, so I am starting a series here on my channel. Um, every Friday there's going to be a thrift haul. That doesn't mean that there's not going to be other thrift hauls interspersed with my other YouTube videos here on this channel, but at least every Friday you can count on a thrift haul video for the foreseeable future we'll see how long that lasts hopefully I will have enough to sustain me for quite a while um, because I do have a problem like most other resellers where I source too much and way more than I should um, but we'll see how it goes this is going to be really quick I only spent $50 and got like 13 items my receipt says 11 but I got one bag and I think it has like three items in there um, so a little less than five dollars per item um, but let's get started all right so first let's just talk about the bagged item because it was right here on the top of my thrift bag and it looks like this. It's three beauty products. So the first one is Bath and Body Works Dark Kiss. This is the shower gel. There's also a You're the One body lotion. And the last thing is a Victoria's Secret Very Sexy C um, perfume. It's like a rollerball. I haven't run comps on any of these three things, but pretty much anytime I see Bath and Body Works or the Victoria's Secret like um, body sprays and stuff, I will pick them up. I just got one plush during this trip. Um, I initially thought my daughter was gonna claim it um, for her own, but she said she didn't want it. I can't find any comps on this. It is from 2001, so technically vintage. It's now 21 years old. Um, but like I said, I can't find any comps at least within the last 90 days on eBay, so I will probably search Terra Peak and see if I can find something. Um, but this is a Pokemon plush. It's a decent size. Usually I find the smaller ones. Um, and so yeah, this is Celebi. Celebi, I don't know how you actually pronounce it. To me, I say it like celery, but with a B instead of an R, so not sure, but like I said, decent size, and it's in really good shape for 2001. Um, it was $5.99. I have not taken the prices off of anything, and the wings are like an iridescent material and crinkly. So I'm excited to see what this might bring. I think this is the only pair of shoes, um, at least at first glance, it appears to be the only pair, but these are Hoka's. So Hoka One One. No, it's not Hoka One One. I have mentioned that before, but in case you didn't see that last video, here's the back. Uh, I don't know what style these are. They're a size of US 9, but they're kind of like a Nike fly knit material there we go you can see it a little better here um minor wear uh, like the toe there's a little bit of like some fibers coming up here and there is a little damage here but other than that they're in pretty good shape and the bottoms are pretty clean as well they obviously have been worn but not in terrible shape at all and this is it for the clothes and then i have one other hard good which you saw in the thumbnail but i'm saving that for last so first is this um ireland like fisherman's cable knit sweater it's 100 percent merino wool aron moore is the brand I love picking these up. They always do super well for me. And it's just a full zip, like I said, Fisherman Cable Knit Sweater in this really pretty dark gray color. I will probably list that around $50 and see what happens. Next is just a personal buy. This is American Eagle. If you've been around, you know I love me some American Eagle. And it's just a waffle knit like button neck pullover another personal buy but i think that's it for the personal stuff and 
Most of you know I love my graphic tees. This one has skeletons on it and I love skulls and skeletons and it says envision a brighter future. Next is something I probably shouldn't have picked up um, but I'm sending it into the real real because I don't want to deal with it and the price was pretty good. Frame. Frame jeans at least have not done the best for me. This is a linen top. It is one shoulder, so not quite sure how sought after that is. And it's like a pretty yellow color. Um, but yeah, to the real real it goes because I'm trying to um, increase my status. I'm currently at the second highest tier and I'm trying to get to that VIP status. Here's another one that I could sell on my own but is just gonna go to the real real. This is a rag and bone size small and it's just like a soft long sleeve tee super soft like i said next we have a graphic like crew neck pullover it is from 2003 the band all time low i did look up comps on this and they were decent 35 40 dollars and what they price it at 6.49 so not too much of a profit to be made, but it'll still sell. It's from the Baltimore, Maryland show in 2003, I guess. One pair of jeans and that's it for the clothes. Like I said, this is gonna be a quick haul. I just shared a pair of these jeans in a recent thrift haul. I will link that video here for you if you haven't watched it. It is Revice. Here we go. They are a size 27. I currently have the other pair still for sale. Um, those I think are a small size. I think they're a 24 or a 25. Um, but the draw for these is that it's going to be hard to tell on these because they're black, but they have a star on the butt. Um, I will insert a photo over here of the other pair. Um, if you find Revice jeans in the wild and you list them, I highly recommend putting the booty as the uh, cover photo for your listing because that's what people are looking for when they're buying these jeans. Um, but yeah, they do have like an exposed forward seam running down the center of both legs and they are a little bit of a flare leg, which is nice because apparently skinny jeans are out. Um, and they're not doing as well for me. So always excited to find nice uh, brands in a flare style because I personally love flare. And last but not least, we have a game. I don't know much about games. I have done quite a bit of video gaming in my life. Um, Kingdom Hearts is my jam. If you agree, let me know in the comments. You are my people. Um, so I've played all of those except for whatever one was available on PS3 because I never had a PS3. Um, but anyways, board games, we love them here. We love to play them as a family for game nights. We just love them. Anyway, I happened to see this game out of the corner of my eye and thought to look it up. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I love the movie so much, but it is The Goonies. And this is from 1985. Um, so it's a year older than me and it's worth hundreds. Um, the highest comp I saw in the last 90 days on eBay was I think $350 or $360 somewhere around that ballpark. Um, it sold on an auction. That was the last bid. Um, and it wasn't complete. It did have a mint box but it wasn't complete. This one's not complete either. It seems to be missing the instructions. Um, when I was in the store, I tried to look at all the pieces and make sure most of them were there. And it seems that most of them were there, but I haven't counted everything out yet to make sure. I just know that the instructions are missing. So the inside just has all the pieces all strewn about in there. Um, and no instructions. This is the game board. It's pretty cool um, for a 1980s game. Here's like the little cardboard piece that all the pieces are under, underneath the cover. And I'm excited to get this listed. Um, of all the ones I sold, most of them were around the $150, $175 range. Um, and not one of them that was sold in the last 90 days was a completed game. So 
Um, I'm excited to get this listed. I don't think I will auction it off because auctions typically don't do well for me. Um, so I'll probably list this maybe around 200 and obviously I will have offers turned on. I have offers turned on for everything that I list over on eBay and we'll see what happens. I will definitely keep you guys posted on this because um, I'm really excited about it. And it just goes to show you that um, even people who sell mostly fashion like I do um, can still find other stuff and learn new categories. So don't be afraid to get out there and pick up something that, you know, seems unique, catches your eye and, you know, look it up, see what it's all about. I honestly only looked this up because the game caught my eye being the Goonies and I saw that it was from 1985 and thought maybe it would be something and I honestly was really surprised in the store and it made me really spend more time in that game section that day I looked at a whole bunch of games I comped a bunch of vintage games none of the other ones they had available were in the same realm as this one so I obviously didn't pick any of them up otherwise I would have shared them in this haul with you guys but uh yeah that's my haul for today so I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me and if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time bye